cops! This gale's got teeth, Captain! Loose and catch the wind! Release the names! Crowd on every... Captain has the wheel! Get the main sails into the wind! Captain has the wheel! The Colonel waits on Albany. I wonder what he has in mind for us to do next. Us? I thought you just wanted to check in with Monroe. Not sign me up for the army. Not a little shame. But I admire the Colonel's ideas and want to make them happen. What kind of ideas? Secure borders, prosperous farms, fair trade. We need those in these wretched colonies. Sounds like a high-minded utopia. It rather does. Want to help make it happen? Colonel Monroe is an intriguing man. And he certainly seems honorable. We'll head for Albany. After that, I'll see. Split. Full sail ahead, lads! Well, the ship aboard the limey bird behind. And got legless drunk of mine. We're heading hard for land, sir! How do they back? Take in your stuff. Haul in the studs! Turn around the captain. Anchor away! Good health, I see. Yeah, thanks for the captain here. It is a fine vessel, Captain Cormac. Thank you, Colonel Monroe. Master Gist, did you learn more about our conspirators and their new weapons? 
Well, only that their base of operations is a French fort further downriver. It's a little close for comfort, isn't it? If the French have installed a fort in our territory, they are likely preparing an assault. New York could burn. Will you join us, Master Cormac? Aye. Enough innocents have died already. Uh, might I suggest we improve our vessel? The Morrigan is good, but with a few more supplies, she could be unstoppable. And you know, there's a French outpost nearby I happen to know. I like the sound of that. Citizens to be on the lookout for grave robbers. Unscrupulous medical students have been caught.
Keep your brown best on your shoulder while you march. All I'm saying is that lining up... What sort of business are the French up to there? Just occupying the territory? It is an economic incursion more than a geographical one. Some of the ruffians are sponsored by enemies of the colonies. They intend to undermine local authorities. I've heard they steal from civilians and resell essential goods for ten times the price. It's always the little fella who gets skin. Fire! Colonel, you and guest here seem inspired. There's something in the water, or in the whiskey. Now, why do you say that, Master Cormac? I think Shay here is skeptical about our intentions towards our fellow man. I understand, but there is no need. I simply want these colonies to be a place of safety, development, and purpose. Well, funny. I thought rich men wanted them to be a place of profit. We bury dead on those I am not a rich man, Master Cormac. Money is a means to an end. Not an end in and of itself. Yeah. <sighs> 
éviter que les sadistes se collent sa patrouille. Le fèvre, Marcelin est en train de dégueuler sa vie. Je te colle sa patrouille. Arrête de gueuler, Henri. Donc je me suis enrôlé pour une autre année. Vraiment Attends, c'était quoi ça Marcelin est en train de dégueuler sa vie. Je te colle sa patrouille. Arrête de gueuler, Plutôt à ce que tu fais. Quoi là-bas Les criminels ont disparu. Now let's use those materials to give the Morrigan more firepower. We will need more powerful...
Splendid! That fort and the defenders will tremble before the Morrigan! Captain of the wheel! Your ship is in fine form, Master Cormac. That fort should offer little resistance. I'd rather hope the frogs offer some, else this will be a dull day. Never wish for battle, Master Gist. There is plenty around here for any of our lifetimes. Besides, if we find the fort's commander, the French will surrender, no? Indeed, that is a sensible strategy. But we will have to wear down the fort's defenses first. Otherwise, they will just dig in for a wounded bear. Another colonial... Knock her down like a game of nine pins. Begin by hitting her towers. As the colonel says. Fire! Fire! Catch it! Put a shot in the fire! Catch some wind! More sail! All sail! Loose topsails, gallants and royals! Je ne sais pas, je peux tirer. 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 Je ne
Hé, hey, là-bas, halte Je peux l'abattre d'ici Chasseur. Say, it has been so long. Were you on a special mission? Yes, from Achilles. How interesting. So am I. Don't make me do this, Le Chasseur. Do what? Assassinate me? I thought that was your specialty. We can both just leave. Ah, but then I would tell your brother that you are alive. You have to kill me, Shay. <laughs> I'll catch up with you one way or another. Mark my word. You can't slip away from us, you mangy dog. Your business, Shay. As were you. Tell me, what are you doing in land? Special weapons. Poisonous gases to use against colonial authorities. I am merely a delivery man. Then may your final delivery be swift. Chasseur was right. I... I had no other choice. If the assassins find out I'm alive, they'll come after me. While you were busy taking down that fort, I happened to stumble upon the treasury. You don't say. It was the damnedest thing. <clears throat> uh, well, in, in any case, amongst other things, I found maps and charts detailing various French trade routes. What are you thinking, guest? I thought perhaps we could use them to um, help the Royal Navy and fill our pockets. I stored these maps in your cabin, Captain, should you wish to use them.
The Colonel thanks and congratulates you, Shay. He has returned to New York. But you look troubled. Do... Do you ever wonder if you're doing the right thing, Gist? If you chose the right path? I used to, my young friend, but not anymore. Not since I met the Colonel. And what's the question? The French are entrenched in our territory. It's about time we root them out. Of course. You're right, Gist. Let's head back to New York. All right, Captain.
What you have learned from Le Chasseur was confirmed. The local lawbreakers are changing tactics. What's their plan now? Their boss has hired Benjamin Franklin to produce new weapons for them. He's very well guarded. Benjamin Franklin? The scientist? You have heard of him. Good. He is making equipment to spread gases among the populace. Toxic ones, as it turns out. The populace? I thought they would use it against the authorities. Though that would be terrible as well. The ruffians we have arrested refer to an intimidating woman. I believe she is behind these nefarious plans. I look into this. Thank you. Hope. I pray it's not you. It is good to see you again. Your friend Hope said you were away. I, I, I was. Uh, sir, I, I've come to collect the results of your experiments. Oh, well, it's a very good thing, then. I just finished fixing the prototype. Here you go. I was preparing to leave for Philadelphia, and then Europe. I was invited to lecture in London. Oh, would you be so kind as to inform Mistress Hope? Uh, of course. God, Hope. What are you doing with these felons? Turning the city against itself. What have you become? Something the matter, Master Cormac? Uh, no, no. Yes, just old memories. When I am issued new recruits burdened with regrets, I tell them the surest way to lose them is with gunpowder. You're right, Colonel. This prototype seems very powerful. 
Use it with care, Master Cormac. Our intelligence says this thing can destroy certain fortifications, as well as injure several enemies at once. There is also a more subtle way to use it. Some of these grenades contain a strong sedative. Fire one into the crowd and they will fall asleep immediately. We should test this new weapon. Use it against that door. Use these grenades to destroy that door. Good work. Good work. I think you are ready to turn this new weapon against the ruffians who would have used it. There is an abandoned factory nearby hiding a dangerous poison. Right now, it only causes sleep. But I fear those outlaws are distilling it. A more powerful formula could sicken or perhaps even kill most of New York. But not my first target. Be careful, Master Cormac. We understand that the ingredients are highly unstable. All the better. I mess with this. Maybe I can break the whole system.
If I mess with this, baby, I can break the whole system. Turn to the ground. Stay away! This is dangerous! I can hit him from here. Go on my watch. I'll catch you. I caught you red-handed, Magentine. Your mother will warn you. <laughs> <laughs> Get out, or I'm as good as dead. What marvelous destruction, Captain. I saw the smoke all the way from the Morrigan. That should discourage those miscreants. New York is safe for now. With all due respect, Colonel, it's going to take more than a few explosions to get rid of this kind of trouble. The boy is right, Colonel Monroe. Shay, was it? Congratulations. You just burned the whole lot of rats out of New York. I'm Jack Weeks. This is William Johnson. I don't know about him, but I'm pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. It is, uh, terribly dusty here. I'm sure Shea can recount his adventures to us over a pint. Hey, the first round's on, uh, the Colonel, huh? <laughs> Something the matter, Master Cormac? Just a little confused. I uh, must have breathed some of that gas. Some ale will do you good. Come, we are all friends here. You will be taken care of. Dear Master Cormac, my apologies for the brevity of this missive, but it is time we were honest with one another. You have demonstrated your loyalty and resourcefulness to the Templar cause, and this despite and perhaps because of your assassin origins. The manuscript the assassin sought has been in my possession for some time. 
I reclaimed it when my men found you marooned. The Grand Master himself charged me to discover its meaning, a task I regret I have failed to complete. I leave it in your charge, Master Cormac. There is no one else I trust more. Now I leave for Fort William Henry, an ill-prepared garrison surrounded by hostile natives and the French army. We have requested reinforcements, but I doubt they will be forthcoming. I have no illusions that our resistance will be successful. I commit my life to the British Army, and my soul to the Father of Understanding. Yours, Colonel George Monroe. Ship. Mind your post, guest. The Colonel's in trouble. How do you mean, in trouble? He's at Fort William Henry, facing impossible odds. Get off your lazy asses, lads, and man your stations! We raise anchor! Sorry for the early libation, Captain. But do you realize that it's been a whole year since we met? <laughs> a whole year! Changed my life, you did. And for the better. <laughs> you will uh, forgive me if I have been uh, celebrating without you. A whole year. Yes, I have a question for you. How long have you known of my, well, former allegiance? Oh, you mean the assassins? I knew that ages ago, Shay. I may be drunk, but I'm not blind. Or did you think I would assume? You had escaped from some homicidal circus. Why didn't you say anything? Well, the Colonel wanted us to avoid the subject so it wouldn't you know, influence your decision making. You saved my life out of pure selfless instinct and helped countless others besides. If it were up to me, I would have made you an official Templar months ago. Who is it up to then? Monroe mentioned a Grand Master. Oh, yes. The Grand Master of a colonial right. You'd like him, Shay. His father was an assassin. Really? You must have a story to tell. What is the news from Fort William Henry? The garrison is surrounded, and reinforcements are late. General Montcalm has been blazing a path across the colonies for King Louis, hasn't he? I rather wish he'd stayed home with his mistress. His or King Louis? Either. Though I suspect the King's is finer. Indeed. Madame O'Murphy is supposed to be quite the charmer. And O'Murphy is in the French King's bed. Now I know you're pulling my leg. <laughs> 